Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. And I have my Resident Evil here, my kitten on my lap, who's doing his best to be naughty. Come on, you. Yes, that's the microphone. You saying hello to everybody? <laughs> Come on, you little terrorist. Chaos Kitty. Right, there we go. He's gone. Um, now, so where were we? Uh... I guess we're about to go flick the shit switch. Turn up the diarrhea dial and get the fuck out of here. Right, out of my way. I wonder if we're going to run into any... Oh, we still got the... That's fine. I was going to say, we still got the bloody ink ribbons on us, but hey, I mean, that's... Ah, good. My little boy has returned to his beanbag. Mmm. Ugh, that coffee. Oh man, I tell you what, when coffee hits hits your soul, man, ah, there's not a drug like it. And I've tried a lot of drugs in my time. Coffee, oof. Oh man, college, what an experience. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go. I, I mean, don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad. Right. Okay. So there's the self-destruct thing. Goody, what's it? All right, we should be able to turn the power on. Excellent. Right, that's sounding a little bit better now, isn't it? Uh, we shouldn't have any more chimeras turn up. We shouldn't. I say shouldn't. I'm not saying we won't. I'm saying we shouldn't. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, now, the reason I was saying about doing Resident Evil... Uh, or doing a knife run during the uh, one mean zombie or whatever it's called mode because now one mean zombie isn't actually as bad as it sounds he only really hounds you through the first half of the game anyway but in the areas that he turns up he despawns all the enemies in 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 that particular room so it potentially it's a lot easier playing as him anyway Enough about that Shiite. What do we want to use on this guy? Let's drop this back. We've got one FA spray. That should be more than enough. Like, I can't imagine that not being enough. I mean, we've got enough firepower. We've got firepower for days, yo. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So, uh, I said about the SSD, um, Amazon said it's been delivered to our post box, where we don't have a post box. <laughs> Not sure what's going on that. Hey, you're lucky I saved your ass at all, boy. Silence. Silence in the elevator. I kind of want to play um, Revelations 2 again. God, that was a game. It's so cool to play as Barry again as well. Ah, Wesky. Wesker. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Rusker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl, but I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn the all things? of them along with this what entire things? laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. Oof. Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. 
I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. Kind of what? what you just said. What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Damn, he still looks cool as ever. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Oof. Barry. Forgive Good man. Me? No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit. Uh oh. Maybe you should have double tapped. Oh, look at that thing. Look at him, he's so cool. A big exposed heart there. Kind of an issue. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together. In hell. <laughs> you gotta love Wesker. You want a piece of me? Yeah, just shoot it, Barry. Just shoot it. Premature. Oh, Barry's gone. No, Barry. You viral cultured freak. Ooh, look at it. Imagine if it could understand. Oh god, whoops, wrong way. Yeah, so um I don't know if you noticed. But if you look at what it said. Oh shit, we got the wrong way. Yeah, ow, ow. That was, I went the wrong way. Yeah, if you notice what it said on Barry's gun. Uh, Barry Silver Serpent actually says 44 Magnum, where Jill says uh, 357, which is something that I've literally only just noticed. Right, last one. Oops. Alright, be careful now, Jill. Careful. Ooh, right in the nutsack. Does he have a nutsack? Maybe. Not think about that too much. Oh, God. Oh, he's had enough. He's had enough. See what I mean, though? See what I mean? Like, in his first form, he is ridiculously easy. You know? What was that? Six shotgun shells? Or seven? Uh, I think one of those. At least one of those missed. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the progenitor virus. The prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered uh, to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery. But now everything is clear to me. The prototype parasite was incubated in the sample specimen's body for 21 years, and then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, maybe more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. It was this... Uh, it was the breakthrough that would change the future of BOW history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia. Ooh, Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. Alexia. I wonder if he means Alexia Ashford. Uh, okay, so Lisa Trevor, was she the G-Virus then Barry. and not the Nemesis Parasite? Barry. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Yes, you should have fired oh, your gun. 
He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Right, come on, you old lug. Let's go. Oh, wait, I think we've got to release the door, haven't we? Yeah, the door is electronically locked. Looks like, yeah, in case of an emergency. Although, I'm not really sure how... Um, Number of capsules, each containing an unspeakably ugly creature. Hmm. I'm not sure how uh, that lock would actually keep the tyrant in. I mean, admittedly, uh, even though he's a failed tyrant, there seems to be a lot of these things. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're all tyrants. Not sure. I wonder why they wanted everything but the tyrant. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Let's go. So I mean, like, even on hard, there's more than enough ammo. Like, seriously, more than enough ammo to get through the game. I don't think you'd be able to... Well, I was going to say, I don't think you'd be able to kill every creature in the game, but... It... It would be tight, but maybe... Right, let's go get Chris. Let's go save it upstairs and get the F out. Yeah, right there, friend. Ugh, look at you lot. Bloody everywhere, like rats. There you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, we still got plenty of ammo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so the acid shells aren't actually that effective against chimeras. It still takes two of them to put them down. Which isn't too bad, I guess. But, you know. I think it's one magnum round. I thought chimeras were actually weaker than hunters. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because hunters take two acid rounds as well. But then hunters on hard as well seem to take between two and three magnum rounds. That's a lot. But they're nowhere near as dangerous as I thought. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of? Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go. But we're going to go back into his cell because I know on some difficulties there's a herb in his cell. Or her cell, depending on who you're playing as. But obviously, I'm not sure actually. Uh, oh, I like... Oh, look, there's freaking flame rounds in here. That I was not expecting. That's interesting. Dried up commode. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, there was definitely... was not expecting flame rounds. Alright. I, I was expecting if I was extremely lucky a herb. Bloody flame rounds. Yes, sir. I'll take them. Uh, you're having a bit of a moment back there, Chris. Look like you was having a seizure. That's fine. You've been under a lot of stress. It's understandable in these situations. Um. All right, let's get you Come out on, of there. Let's go. Yeah, all right. Excuse me. I'm not the one that's been having a nice little nap. Honestly. You didn't listen to him. Come on, let's go. Jesus. Right, okay. I'd like to use some of these flame rounds. It might actually be fun to play this on an easier difficulty. I wish you could unlock um, infinite ammo in this game. You can't. You can only unlock the unlimited ammo handgun and the unlimited ammo um, rocket launcher. But it's not the same rocket launcher that you get at the end of the game. So you can't really enjoy and play with the weapons. That's one thing I do like about Resident Evil Zero. Uh, oh my god, like, seriously? Uh, what should we take? 
We will take the mag and the rounds because, yes. Do we have any more mag rounds? Or was it just... No, that's it. I mean, look at all this health. Seriously. I mean, that's a lot of health. We don't need that because she's empty. She's dry. And we'll take the flame, I guess, as a backup weapon if we need a backup weapon. Do we need a backup weapon? I have no idea, but we're taking a backup weapon. Uh, I get, we can have like a whole other full heal as well. I mean, if we can't do it with this, then, well, I must be having severe mechanical problems. Uh, do we want to take... Do we want to take a memento? Actually, if we search these ink ribbons, examine. I love this. I love the way you can actually take the top off and look inside. I love the detail in this game. Right, we're going to save it just because why the fuck not? Why the fuck nuggets not? You're not um, scored on any of this stuff anyway, so you're only scored on your time. And maybe, no, you are, no, you're just literally scored on your time. We could take Lisa's lighter with us, a bit of a memento. That, no, we... Wait a minute. We do need an item, uh, a free slot. Because we need to pick up the battery. Now, oh, unfortunately, this is light is going to get eviscerated. Or is that Tom's? Um, Thomas's lighter? I can't remember. I can't remember who that lighter belongs to. Anyway, let's go. Oh, there's actually like another health item here. I'm actually tempted to open that up, see what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a first aid spray. Well, last chance, eh? Okay. Let's go. Come on, Baza. Elevator, the fuse unit is missing. There it is. I was going to say. I like the way that's in the middle of the floor here. And I guess the only reason they do this is so um, you've got one slot left over. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. No! <laughs> Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Yeah, let's do that. Look at Chris trying to be a hero after Jill's basically done everything and saved the day. And Jill's the Amazon. Right, so let's get the 357 out. Now this... <sighs> And when I played this um, by myself, I didn't really find the Tyrant that hard, to be honest. So, like, especially not to avoid him, but I mean, I guess we will... Let's examine this. Flare rockets. I can signal Brad with this. I wish they had kept this examination system, but I guess we moved on gameplay-wise, to be honest. So we don't really need it anymore. Hey guys, I guess they wasted all the hunters. Jill, you made it. Hey, buddy, buddy, old pal. Who can jump out of there like an absolute unit? Oh, Chris has just been sliced. Uh, should have brought more than six bullets, I guess. Right. Right, 
right, there's the six shots. Right, where is he? Come on. He's gonna do his charge. Yep, here he comes. Yeah, he's... He really ain't that bad. Come on, Baza. Can you take his attention, please? Yeah, I couldn't even see him because the camera angle changed there. But he's really easy to do without getting hit once. Alright. Uh, again, bad camera angle. Oh, he's going for Barry. There we go. Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Alright, let's go. Oh! Just just stay there for me, please, buddy. I don't know if Barry can get killed there. Probably not. Right, there we go, buddy. Good night. Get the fuck out of here. I wish we could unlock this rocket launcher. Still love that. Absolutely vaporized. Barry looking like a boss, reloading his gun, or at least hoping that he brought more bullets. There we go. So, Resident Evil, uh, real survivor mode. Uh, I mean, it's definitely a different challenge. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of that mode. I probably wouldn't play it again. Just because it's frustrating with the item boxes. You know, you don't really miss them until we don't have them. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Uh, as for the difficulty, I mean, the difficulty is what it is. It's not bad, really. I mean, ammo... The ammo is restricted, but it's not that bad. It's not like you're running around with two shotgun shells left and you've got six hunters coming at you. Um, I still stand by the fact that that's way over-exaggerated with Resident Evil. Um, just how limited the supplies are. I mean, you can't be too careless, that's for sure. And I'm really not sure if you could kill all the enemies. I'm going to say you, you might be able to. Um, but the bosses really aren't that bad. I mean... Plant 42 is easy with Jill if you use the V-Jill. I mean, it's not hard if you don't. If we didn't use the V-Jill, we might have had um, a little bit more of an ammo deficit at the end. That's for sure. But you don't have to. You just waste waste it with V-Jill and then have Barry burn it. So most of the hunters you can run past. The, the hunters are not that bad in this game i mean in the resident evil 3 remake <laughs> they they are hunters my god in the resident evil remake uh they make these things look like kittens um yeah how many times the first time i saw hunter in the remake hey we got all the horror achievement and the survival horror achievement all right i didn't expect didn't actually expect to get that many achievements. So what was all the horror? Obviously one of those is for doing uh, the hardest difficulty. Finish the game in rule survival mode, right? And finish the game on hard difficulty. But we did that. No, we didn't. No, my bad. We did... Um, uh, Resident Evil uh, director's cut and hard, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
Okay. I genuinely thought that I had done that on hard. Fair enough. Uh, but, I mean, it's not that bad. I hate hidden achievements. I hate hidden achievements with a passion. Like, just fuck off, because you're just gonna un you're just gonna look them up anyway. Because <sighs> what else are you gonna do? Are you just gonna, you know, walk around uh, for like two thousand hours and hope that you unlock unlock the game, uh, unlock them? Which, let's be honest, it could be fucking anything. Um, but yeah, uh, every nook and cranny, I haven't done that, which is that's interesting to me because that means you have to open every in, in one playthrough you have to pick up every item open every door and visit every area i can't believe i haven't done that, that okay all right um yeah hey whatever you uh i guess these are for the other modes as well one is a cqc i know that for completing the game with only the knife that's going to be fun. And the other mode is... Well, the other thing is probably... Well, no, because I've done all the time limits. One of them's probably for... Com oh, yeah, I get, yeah, it's going to be the CQC. It's going to be the invisible zombie mode. And it's going to be... What was the other mode? One bad zombie or whatever it's called. That's probably what that is. Um, yeah, so fair enough. Have we unlocked the other modes yet? Yeah, right, now you can now try to survive with invisible enemies. Invisible enemy mode unlocked. Good luck. We still don't have... Uh, yeah. We still don't have... Um, the one bad zombie. Yeah, we've got an invisible enemy. But what about one bad zombie or whatever it's called? Right, we can, okay, so we can do this on hard, normal, easy, or very easy. All right, there's actually a, a difficulty selector for that, which is curious. Uh, I'm wondering. Let's hit up normal. We'll start this. Ah, oh, go on. We'll start this as Chris. We're gonna do this on normal, just because. That's going to be hard. And I've just been informed that my dinner's done. So, uh, one second, guys. Right, anyway, so uh, I just wanted to see if we'd get anything actually with us. But uh, no, we don't. The only thing we have is a carbon reinforced alloy blade with serrated edges. Chris has been using it since his days in the Air Force. Yeah, uh... Right, so you really still just start off with the knife. I mean, I know technically this is a different mode. But let's go see how easy it is to take out a zombie. Shall we? I mean, there is the extra fuck factor. Ah, oh, right, yeah, the extra fuck factor. Um, I, I should explain. When doing the CQC... Oh. Oh, yeah, invisible enemy. When doing the CQC mode. Um, okay, so they're visible. Okay, can we not attack it at all? Okay, not really sure why we couldn't attack it when it was on the floor. But when we do the CQC mode, we're obviously going to do it. On, there we go. Do it on easy. But we're not even allowed to burn the bodies. Right, and it still takes three bites to kill us. Oof. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Now, obviously, we are gonna do CQC on easy because that's just the way it is. Um, imagine doing CQC on very hard. Yeah, no thanks. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, I did. Thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.